Okay, how you doing out there? First thing first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2. Now, uh, this is going to be actually one of the, actually we got one more video to do and we're done because I figured we've done enough. We've proven enough that your screen paint on no way on any form is anywhere like our technology and it isn't. And the fact that you've been slandering us for, for years saying, oh, we can save you hundreds. He's overpriced screen paint. I can do the same thing he's doing. Well, now we got your paint down here and we, everybody can see exactly what your paint really is. I was able to mimic your paint by using $20 and I made a gallon of it. So keep in mind, when we do those insane and demonstrations that people say we go overboard with, that's to prove that our technology sits on a different level than anybody else. When we put challenges out there and we say, hey, you've got two days, three days, four days to complete the same challenge and no one completes that challenge, it just shows that our screen paint is on a different level. This is the reason why I can charge the price. And I think the price of what my screen paint is, is very reasonable considering the fact that we can beat and prove it a DMP supernova that costs four to five thousand dollars. I have yet to see you do a demonstration on any of these screens. Now, if I take that DMP supernova and I put it against your screen right now, you're not going to like the outcome of it. So, there are certain demonstrations we actually shied away from because we didn't want to basically bring too much. Uh, of, of, uh, we could, like I said, I could have gone all out on this, but I didn't. Kept it very professional. We did it side by side with our or with our technology next to yours. Now, this last demonstration. I'm going to show you something very interesting. Uh, my technology will not be included in this. I actually know what it will be included in this. I forgot about that. I'm going to be out of my screen in this. But like I said, we did everything side by side. When I did the screen demonstration on basically durability on how well your screen can actually withstand water, I scrubbed the crazy daylights out of my screen. I did the same thing to yours and yours tore up. So like I said, we did everything side by side in all these demonstrations as I said I was going to do. The only thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to take your screen outside because I know if I take it outside and I hit it against that uh, panel, it's not going to hold up. Your screen will fail under that panel. And like I said, you did not give me the screen paint I requested, which was a hybrid mix. The reason why you didn't do that because you knew your screen was going to fail under that panel. But like I said, to prove how good my technology is, I took my black screen and produced a higher white level on your uh, Metallica Mix 2.0 easily. Now. I'm going to do a very interesting demonstration here, and like I said, this is uh, the, this is the, this one I have to do the day, and I have no another one to do, and I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to bring your paint back. We're not going to go against our word. The only way I would come back and do a demonstration again against you, unless you start carrying on again, opening up your mouth and running it about your paint being better than this and how we're scamming people and slandering my company, then I'll buy another one of your screen paints and we'll do the same thing again every single time. I will buy your product and do it the real demonstration, not that half lit and all the other nonsense that you do to slander our product. I'll bring you in here and we'll do the real demonstration. All right, so I'm hopefully that you learn from this, go about your business, do what you need to do, and just leave everybody the freak alone. Or we'll come back and we'll get your paint again. Now, also too, I wanted to add on this too, that in no way, in no form, I'm saying that don't buy his product at all. It's up to you if you want to buy it or not. The reason why our price is because of what it is, is because we proved that we can beat high-end projection screens. I've got court, I mean, if I got papers from deceased and desist orders from big companies that told us to stay away from the technology. So I know what the worth of my technology. You can see in our demonstrations that no one does demonstrations on our level. But when someone claims to be something that they're not, then we're going to bring you in on our level and we're going to show you exactly if you can withstand it. All right, so let's begin because I'll chatter all day. All right, so let's go. Now we got a screen sitting right in the middle of the Metallica Mix 2.0. One's rolled on, one is brushed on. Now I got a comment from one of the, I think it was one of his followers, I don't know who he was, but he made a statement by saying that it's not fair because you brushed on his screen. Now he claimed to be a brushing on his screen will basically change the contrast, will change the color, will change everything in the screen and it was an unfair demonstration, it should have been rolled on. Now, the sample sheet that's sitting in the middle of that screen is brushed on. The larger screen you're seeing, which is Crow Screen Paint Mix, is rolled on. Now I'm going to let you look at this. Now you see that light piece in the middle? That screen is actually rolled on with a paintbrush.
when you brush your screen on, it does not change the contrast, the color, it doesn't change anything. It changes the texture of the screen. It may give you a gritty look, you know what I mean? Because there's gonna be lines on the screen from the, from the, from the brush. But other than that, it's not gonna change the picture quality whatsoever. Like I said, you have to be careful about how people talk to you and what they say to you because sometimes they're not telling you the truth. Now, that screen in the middle is my screen paint. That's my cheap paint. I made that. That cost me $13 to make. Would I use that on my wall? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not using that on my wall. No. Wanted something else instead. Here we go. This is what I wanted. And you see the difference? See how light it is? That cost me 12 bucks to make, about 12 or 13 dollars to make. Painted that on with a paintbrush. Let me get around this real quick. There you go, up close. See, right up close. You can see. Look how that looks. I would not paint a $12 paint on my wall, and I'll tell you why. Because I'll show you. Now, I know it looks fantastic to you. You're looking like, wow, that looks incredible. Now, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pause my video right about there. We're going to go back to the food. And I'm going to show you why I wouldn't paint that on my wall because I'm going to show you what real technology is supposed to look like. All right. <sighs> Done this already before today. Now, you see that screen in the middle? That's a panel. That's a panel on the cheap paint. Now, let me do something for a minute. Now, it's funny because as you can see on that small little panel, you can see a huge difference. Even though it's on such a small sample sheet, you can still see a difference between the panel and the screen itself. You can still see a difference in it, which means you don't need a very large panel to do so. All right, so. Let's take a larger sheet of my panel and let's put that in the middle of the screen. Ready? That's my panel right there. Again. Now you see the difference between my technology and a $12. This is $12 screen paint right here. And that's Crow's Mix. That's the Supreme panel. Lights out. See how brighter and cleaner the picture looks? Now, that's the difference between a panel's technology and Crow's screen paint. There's Crow's screen paint right there. And there's my panel. 
That's the cheap $12 screen paint which I developed right there. And there's Crow's paint again. Now look how clean the picture is here. And look how dirty it is here. Sorry, not dirty, that's what I'm to say. I'm not trying to slam this guy in any way. Look how dark it's here. Now it's darker here. I do apologize for that, Mr. Crow. It, um, it's darker here, right here. And as you can see, look at the panel compared to his screen. Now this is the $12 mix I made. And there's Crow's paint right there. Now, I want to take this off. Put my panel back over here. I'm going to turn this around. This is a matter of fact, let me turn my lights on real quick. I want you to see this. So, as I said, the other screen was used with a paintbrush. Now, I'm going to come over here and show you. See all the lines and the screen? This was all done with the paintbrush. This is a this is a cheap, right there, this is a cheap paint that I use. $12 to make this. To make this screen. That was it, $12. And I use a paintbrush. And you really can't see the lines. You can see the streaks here and there. Let me zoom up for a minute. So you see right here? You can see the streaks here and there in the screen. A little bit. You can see it. There, see? There's the streaks right in the screen right there. I use the paintbrush. You can see it in the screen. But it really doesn't make too much of a difference. There you go. Now, like I said, this is my paint that I made, $12. This is the other one I made right here on the back side. I made this one right here for around, I said I made it for around <coughs> 20 bucks. Now, the reason I'm doing a lights out demonstration because this is how he does his demonstration, so I just want to keep everything on his level, to be fair. Now that's his paint, right? Now that's not his paint, sorry. This is his paint right here, getting mixed up. That is the $20 paint that I made for a gallon. One's lighter, one's darker. All right, we'll pause it there. All right. I'll turn it back over on the other side. This is the $12 mix that I made right there. And I'll go back. And you'll notice that the screen's gonna be a tad bit lighter because that is the lighter version of the mix I made for 12 bucks all right now I'll take that pause it there I'll go back I'll switch it over and we'll put the mix that I made for 20 bucks right here see them there's a mix for 20 bucks and we'll take my sample the high-end screen and put it right next to it, all right, and show you what we got. Now you see how muddy, you see how dark it looks here. This is Crow's paint right here. This is the $20 mix I made there. There's a difference in technology, that's what I'm telling you. You have to show a huge, significant difference in your technology. That panel right there is designed to make anything look like a TV. Use it on 50 lumens projector. The screen went outside on a 50 lumen projector in 720p. All right, we're done about here. Now, uh, keep in mind, we're going to do um, let me see what we got left to do. I'm curious what other demonstrations we might have left. I think that light is off. I think I'll grab my other remote control over here. All right, there we go. I'll put a projector in blank mode. I keep forgetting to turn that light on. It needs to be on. Let's get access to it over there. All right. So now you can see which is which. Now that's my screen right there. All right. And I put this screen against, now this is the $20 mix I made. This is the $12 mix I made. That's the $12. You see how light this is? The screen's about the same color as this one right here. And that's to show you, even if I had a screen that was a lighter mix, say if I had the hybrid mix, if I had the hybrid mix in here and I put that sample against it, it would turn that screen dark. Just like I did in here in the demonstration, it turned the screen dark.
remote controls. I got like two remote controls right here. Here we go. Lights on. Pause right there. Make sure we cover all the bases here. I'll take my sample sheet right here and I'll put it right there. Because right, I don't want my screen falling. Well, we're going sliding back here. Put that over there. Just to show you, what would have happened if the hybrid mix would have landed over here? It would not have survived. Like I said, $12 mix, and that's our technology. I wouldn't dare put this stuff on my wall. This Supreme panel, yes, I would put that on my wall. You see how clean the color is? That's how it's supposed to look on your, on your uh, 4K projector. Not muddy. All right, I got to go. Thank you all for the time. Thank you all for your demonstration. Like I said, this is the reason why. Now, these demonstrations were done in any way to slander or tear down his comp or whatever it is he has, his hobby or whatever. I think it's a hobby. I'm not sure. I'm not going to go down that road, but it wasn't designed to tear him down in any way. <laughs> yes, my sample sheets. I'm done for the day. All right, it's done for the day. All right, so anyway, it wasn't designed in any way whatsoever to, uh, to tear down his product in any way whatsoever. This, these demonstrations were designed to prove that his technology was not on our level. Now, you know, you know, I know he's going to be frustrated and angry about this. I'm sorry, man, that you're going through this, but you have to understand when you, if you're going to basically t tell people that we're this, that, and the other, we're going to come in and we're going to fight. All right. So just to let you know, all right, I got to go. Thank you all for your time and God bless.